Glory to God. Hallelujah. What a blessing to be seen a new week. What a privilege. Daddy, we thank you. We are grateful that we can see this new week in you, in your presence, with your joy in our heart. Oh, thank you and thank you again. Indeed, joy to the world. The Savior is born. Thank you, thank you, because joy indeed is the lubricant of our relationship even with you and with one another. We thank you so much for the grace to be seen this new week. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, we're going to continue this series, The Principle of the First. Last week we saw how Miss Gloria Copeland put the Lord first and the Lord did at everything that she needed and even more right that's the beauty of our god he does not give us barely he gives us more than enough hallelujah even directions if you need direction you want to know something you want to get an idea of what your 2019 is going to look like you want to know how this this week is going to turn out let me tell you something it's not hard to know just make him first ask him ask him and say daddy instead of going to your emotions go to him first instead of going to how it was last year this time go to him first ask him what are we saying this morning well emphasizing the fact that the principle of first require for us to ask him first somebody repeat that with me ask him first amen in every condition in every situation listen sometimes what we see is very deceiving with our eyes physical eyes our physical eyes can be very um deceiving we can be looking at things with our physical eye meanwhile it's completely different in the realms of the spirit that's the reason we don't want to do and react and respond according to the way things are in the physical let me tell you the truth when you ask him even when it looks obvious, sometimes your the answer and the direction he will give you will be completely different. Honestly, we want to do it in every situation, in every condition, in every challenging situation. In when things look, even when things look awesome and good, don't just assume. Go back to him. There's something I always teach the people. I've always talked about. I always um um ask the people here at headquarters to be watchful for after every conference i tell them i said the next few days are not the days to play with your spiritual life because the enemy is coming for the world the first person to go to after a conference after a great meeting after a breakthrough is the lord why because he knows what is coming next the book of hebrew is very clear it says it that the lord himself got into his rest he expects us to get into a resting place a resting place in the lord is the place where you say i'm not going to do things my way i'm not going to do things my timing i'm not going to go, go do things the way i think and i know it ought to be done i am going to do things the way daddy wants me to do them miss Emma, what scripture are you talking about in hebrews hebrews chapter 4 it's a labor to enter your rest. What is that saying? It's a labor to get into that place where you don't do things because you feel like doing them. You don't, you, you're doing of things is not because you want to do them. You're doing it because the Lord has said to do. Why, why, why is it that way? Because daddy God, after creating the whole world, set everything in motion. It's going the way he wants it to go. So every child of God, as a child of God, you and I, for us to be able to enjoy the fullness of life, for us to be able to experience the maximum, the juice of our Christian work and kingdom life, we have to be able to know this truth and walk in them consciously. Putting daddy first in our asking life. Ask him every turn of the way. Ask him every time. And let me tell you the secret. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Whatever he tells you not to do, don't do it. Whatever he tells you not to proceed, don't proceed. No matter how good it looks in your own eyes. No matter how wonderful it looks like everything is okay. Don't take a step in your understanding. Don't take a step because you feel like that's the right thing. When he gives the instructions, listen and do what? And do it. You see, that's what his mom told us. 
We saw that in the scripture. His mom said, whatever he says to do, do it. So as you put him first in your asking life, whatever he tells you to do, do it. Amen. Glory to God. Amen and amen. Amen. Amen.